Hey YouTubers, this is Abhishek for the Wheels and Chips and today I'll be showing you a uh, trailer kind of a video about how to actually set your settings to get the maximum performance out of a GTA 5 game and uh, the laptop I'm currently using is the Asus A550JX and the video review for that will be up soon uh, most probably a day after this video is actually being posted so uh, yeah, let's quickly begin I'll just start the game, I'll show you how it how it performs or how it plays and after that I'll show you the uh, the exact proper settings as to uh, how, how I got these frame rates so uh, yeah let's begin so as it is visible right now I'm on the menu screen and I'm getting 60 FPS right now obviously you will be getting 60 FPS it's on the menu screen so let me quickly click on this story mode So um, yeah, let me let me just fast forward all these. I hope we get a decent frame rate because the Nvidia Shadow Play is running in the background and uh, it's recording video at 768p, which is the resolution of this um, laptop. So yeah, the game has begun. Your son James. We're getting a, a solid kid? 50 plus FPS on good these uh, cutscenes. A good kid. Obviously, it's it's just cutscenes. What do you expect? Does he help the fucking poor? No. Okay, let's he let's just quit to the day. actual game, shall we? Okay, black screen, 60 FPS, pretty good. Of course, I'm kidding. Okay, um, come on, come on. Okay, great. That's 40 FPS. Good. So yeah, this this is one uh, thing that I've noticed with the, the GTA 5 or uh, any yeah. other game. And all this shit paid for with bad credit. You get a pretty good frame rate when you're uh, indoors or near a kind of a setting where the graphics is not it's not it's not that consuming. I mean, you're just rendering windows and grass over here, and yes, uh, it looks decent. Honestly, it looks good. I've seen better, but it looks pretty darn decent for a laptop. Let's get to the uh, flowers. Okay, pretty good. I'm using the Logitech M260R keyboard right now. Keyboard and mouse combination. It looks like there is no input lag, but at times I do feel input lag. So that's north of uh, 30 FPS, pretty good. And in open roads, this is the real chest. You get a very huge frame drop over here because you're rendering a lot of cars at the same time. But this is pretty good. Uh, it's always north of 30. I was wondering whether this is going to dip a lot. But nope. We are getting solid frame rates. Great. Yeah, that one time I saw 29 FPS. But after that, it's uh, it's pretty much gold. Oh, yeah. No way! Broke his lamp. Great. So let me get to the car. Oops, I lost him. Yeah, I I just uh, installed the game a couple of a couple of hours back, and I've been tweaking it to get the best optimal settings. As you can see, the reflections are uh, there. They look good. Shadows are good. Detailing is freaking adequate, so letters and and yeah, the texture on that, uh, the texture on the. Uh, now back on I don't know what you call Hell it exactly. Yeah, see what it do. <laughs> Not a hey, word. On, on the roof, yeah. The texture on the roof looks like good as well. Sure, <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm actually pretty darn sick. Okay, 28 FPS. That's not great. But, oh my goodness. We're seeing huge drops. 20 FPS. But this is one peculiar behavior. Uh, so in this road, I, we get 20 FPS, but be, as we start riding it, we we get north of 30 FPS. That that should be a bug or some kind of optimization issues. As you can see, the reflection is there. No, it's not a kind of passive reflection. It is active reflection, as you can see right now. The locations are or the background is being reflected appropriately. There are building, buildings over there, you can see that in the reflections. So th this is not some kind of a low quality uh, settings. 
settings are at high and sometimes the texture is at very high so that that could be one reason why uh, you're not exactly getting very high frame rates but it's it's always north of 30 40 i would say and very rarely do do i get very very low frames come on so and one more peculiar behavior I observed is that if uh, if you just pan the camera for a while and uh, you, you let the processor and the GPU get set, you get very good FPS. Okay, I used to get north of 40 over here. Great, it's all set. So these these are kind of bugs, I'd say. Okay, let's begin. Okay, 25. Again, we'll see some frame drops in this road. 20 FPS. Uh, that's not great. Oopsie daisy. Oops, I'm not a good driver. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll take this time to uh, actually show you how, how good the visual quality is. See there, the detailing is fantastic. Not the best, but uh, certainly good, certainly very playable on a laptop. I'm not sure how much more you could expect on a mobile device. Because it's not exactly a rig, it's a laptop which costs around 700 to 800 dollars. So, uh, where did he go? Yeah, he's here. So, 28 FPS over here. Uh, I'll, I'll just play for a while so that you can get, get an idea of how uh, how good this game uh, actually scales or actually runs. So, you're getting north of 25 FPS, which which is borderline uh, average. If if this was a PC. But, uh, this is a laptop, so this is pretty decent. And yeah, I have an easter egg for you. Towards the end. So gear up. Great, right? 40 FPS. Freaking, freaking good. Oh, yeah. Let's get down. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. Oops, mission failed. That's okay. I'll show you the settings, right? That's what we've been waiting for. Mm, it's a little thing off time. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me for that. Going into the settings. So, graphics. Suggested limit us off. Video memory bidding very good. That's full screen. 768p. FXAA is on. Population density. The texture quality is very high. Shader quality is normal. Reflection is high. On 768p at a 15.0. Inch, six inches display. I don't think you need more than uh, two times of MSAA for the reflection because these are very taxing and water quality is very high. So yeah, that everything is on either high. I mean, is on either very high, high or normal. So I think we can consider this as a high settings, if if not very high. So yeah, extended distance scaling. I've kept that to a minimum. Uh, doesn't make a huge difference in uh, scaling anyway. So observe, I've observed this, I've been tweaking with this, so yeah, these are my settings. So, uh, okay, let's just jump right out of this, so that I can show you the easter egg that I was talking about. So here we are out of the GTA 5. As you can see, there are a ton of apps in the background, and um, let's see. It was on Power Saver. Freaking good, right? We're on laptop and it was on Power Saver. And as you can see, the hardware monitor that I've enabled previously. You can see the core clocks. The core clocks are around 798 megahertz because the game is an idle. And the maximum they've reached is only 1.5 gigahertz. This is a laptop running the i7-4720HQ processor. And the maximum core clock is only 1.5 gigahertz. And the maximum temperatures I've reached is well within 70 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely awesome if you want to prolong the life of your laptop. So as you can see, the fan speed, the max it went is 3000 RPM. That is pretty good. I've seen fan speeds of up to 3700 RPM. 
So this is pretty much within the limit and 1.5 gigahertz and within 70 degrees Celsius is absolutely fantastic for a laptop's life. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't see the GP reading over here. It's probably because uh, it switched back to Intel. So uh, yeah, I've seen this game run earlier. So the GPU, it, it does tax the GPU up to 100 percentage, but the GPU never crosses the 75 degrees Celsius mark. Moreover, this is on power saver, so it, it was probably on 72 degrees Celsius. So um, yeah, the game is pretty demanding. I do agree. But if if you can uh, if if you can tune down the settings, or I'm sorry, uh, I was running this at very high. I shouldn't say tune down the settings. If you can fine tune the settings, like for example, there are certain settings that actually gobble up a huge amount of VRAM and your uh, processing capabilities. For example, um, let's let's say the shader or the shadows. Okay, not the shader. Sorry. Let's take the shadows. Okay. So uh, you're running on high shadows. This is just an example. It's not a real world or a proper scenario. So uh, please, uh, please don't start a flame war. Okay. Um, yeah. So about the shadows. So for example, sometimes you are you you set the shadows to high or even very high. But what happens is uh, the difference between a high shadow and a medium shadow in a visual representation is oftentimes not that different. I mean, I've seen this happen. I've extensi extensively read and analyzed the different settings and how they actually impact the performance as well as the visual quality. So they, they don't hamper the visual quality that much. You, you can't really tell the difference. See, I was, I was running this game and you couldn't even tell uh, the settings. It looked as if it was on very high. So yeah, it's definitely not ultra textures, but very high. It's pretty darn good. So as far as the shadows, so what happens is sometimes you you keep the shadows in high and you get 30 FPS, but when you keep the shadows to medium, you don't see a drop in visual quality, or you get 90% of the visual quality is still there, but you get a huge frame rate jump like uh, from 30 to directly 40 or 42 FPS. So I was recording this on Nvidia Shadowplay. You can imagine a uh, the decent amount of FPS that I would be getting without shadow play, absolutely north of 25 FPS always. So even in those buggy scenarios where I just got 20 FPS, I would be getting close to 30 FPS if I wouldn't be uh, using the hard disk or the pro the resources to record this video. So yeah, about the um, graphical settings. So yeah, just just let us know in the comment section down below. If, if you guys are interested, uh, I'll be making a video about that soon because this, this takes a lot of time and effort to actually make. So, uh, okay guys, thank you for watching this video and uh, do throw us a like if you liked it and uh, give us a dislike if you feel this was pretty darn bad. Anyways, take care, uh, have a fantastic new year and uh, yeah, peace.